On the line, we have the delightful, the lovely Julia Bradbury. Good afternoon, Julia. Good afternoon, Dennis. I, I'm sorry, I've never had a, an introduction like that. I love it. I'm sorry to be fading you out early, but it's for a good reason. I'm sorry, everybody. It's not a good reason. It's only me. Oh, you. <laughs> only you now. Don't be modest. <laughs> Julia, it's lovely to have you on board. It's fantastic to be here, Dennis. Now, Julia, you're quite an active person, aren't you? You. Uh, I'm quite an active person. Well, yes, I like to. I like to get around. Yeah. Let's put, let's put it that I way. I mean, with, with you being on TV every week, but well, you are every week uh, on Country File. Uh, you get around to see the the, the country and uh, the beauty of Britain, um, but it must be tiring. It is very tiring. It is. It's exhausting. And thank goodness I'm not doing it all on a cycle, because if I was doing it on a cycle all the time, as I am doing this week at the uh, the caravan and camping show at the NEC, I'd be even more exhausted. But yes, it is tiring, but it's it's um it's a fantastic experience, and it's wonderful to be able to see the countryside the way that I do. And as you say, to get around there every week to see new places and new faces, it's uh, it's it's a, it's a lovely job. Yeah. Now you mentioned cycling. Now uh, tell us uh, how you're. Uh, uh, or what you're going to be doing, and uh, have you prepared for it? Well, what, what I'm doing today at the Caravan and Camping Show here at the NEC is launching the six-day cycling challenge on behalf of the Camping and Caravanning Club, which is going to be a, a cycle challenge during National Camping and Caravanning Week, which starts at the end of May, uh, on the 26th of May. And we're doing it um, really to inspire people to get out there and involve and uh, involve themselves and get engaged more with cycling and camping together, because that's the foundations of the Camping and Caravanning Club. That's what Thomas Hiram Holding, one of the original founders was all about. He was a cycler and a camper. So we thought as this is a year that we've got a quite a big race coming to this country from, from over there, from the other side, and because this is the year of the bike, that we should celebrate that and get people out there and inspire them to get on their own bikes doing this six-day challenge. That sounds great. Now, have you, had, have you already got a good, uh, a good take up of people? We have, yes. It's, it's team members from the club who are taking part. And uh, to add a little twist to it all, um, we're making sure that everybody t uh, t who's taking part is in Edwardian dress as well because we want to try and capture people's attention and, imag and their imaginations as well. So as I sit here, Dennis, I'm wearing a pair of rather scratchy tweed trousers and uh, a very lovely tweed jacket um, in an Edwardian style. And that's what everybody's going to be doing when they're on their bikes. They're going to be wearing those fantastic outfits. Oh, that sounds uh, like fun. And also stick on moustaches as well. Oh, that sounds brilliant. I won't have to stick mine on because I have my own. <laughs> oh, <way. laughs> That sounds like great fun. And uh, uh, even uh, uh, if you're going out and see, just see the people, uh, you know, dressed like that, you can see uh, a sort of a... a, a, a a, a sort of feeling of happiness, can't you? Exactly. Because I think really, it's really good. I think yeah. it's, yeah, people are going to smile if nothing else, and hopefully, That's as it. I said, it's going to inspire them as well. Well, caravans and camping is still as popular as ever, isn't it? Oh, I'd say it's more popular than ever, actually, now, Dennis. I mean, here at the NEC, there are thousands of people coming through the doors uh, this week. More than 100,000 people by the end of the week would be uh, expected to have been uh, visiting here. And they've come to see all the new launches of new models of caravans, of tents, of the equipment. Um, there are, there's, there's so much kit. There's, you know, it, it's just growing and growing year on year exponentially now. Camping and caravanning is, is doing fantastically well. And already this year, bookings are up. People are looking at what to do this summer and where they should uh, where they should be going on holidays and lots of people are opting to do the camping and caravanning route and it's not only in this country is it i mean you can go camping and caravanning ooh, if you if you've got the time across the world can't you yes absolutely i mean there are fantastic holidays and destinations available now or that as you say are across the globe um and some real adventures to be had and there's something very special about about that as an experience if you're going going off with your partner or with your family or with your or even with a group of mates um doing this together that experience together is a real bonding experience and you have a lot of fun on the road as well that sounds like a great experience and uh, um you know it's for all age groups because a lot of people think you know as you get older you don't want to be camping but uh, you can camp in comfort can't you 
Oh, gosh, you know, absolutely you can. I mean, we've got members, you know, we've got children who are members, you know, little toddlers, all the way up to our lovely septo and octogenarians who have been camping for their entire lives. And yes, as, as you said, you, you can have all the creature comforts that you'd ever desire now as well. So if your if your days of just lying uh, on the grass in a sleeping bag are over with a, with a bit of um, canvas hauled over you and you, you need a, a few more luxuries, then they are certainly all available to you now. There's everything. You can, you can, you know, heat your tent, you can sleep on inflatable beds you can plug your hair straighteners in you can cook with a five gang ga- you know gas cooker there's everything that you could possibly need sounds fantastic actually it really does and also you're talking about bicycles you know you can take your bicycle along with you if you're camping uh, or you in a caravan yeah, well, that's, that's old thomas here holding used to do in yeah. 1901 they all took their bicycles with them yeah so uh, you know you can you can get the best of both worlds, can't you? Yeah, it sounds really, can. really, really good. And Have you been camping, Dennis? Uh, not for years, I must be honest. Well, it's time to get you back out there. That's right. Yes, I would. I mean, <laughs> being a bit of a well, I, I do like my comforts. I suppose I'd li- I'd rather try the caravanning than uh, okay. than pitching well, a tent. We- we can organise that for you. That's fine, Dennis. That's all, all right. right. If you, if I you, tell you what, you know, shall you and I run off together? That's a very good idea. Let's do that. Where should we go first? Oh, I don't know. Keep it a secret, but uh, yep, we'll organise it after the after you've finished. <laughs> I like a bit of fun, Julia. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> a bit I don't of a laugh. Mind at all, Dennis. Thank you. And uh, well, as regards camping and caravanning, you know, there's 1.5 million Brits uh, uh, getting ready for this summer, aren't there? That is a phenomenal figure. Yes, that's right. And lots of them, uh, a lot of them are preparing here at the NEC. A lot of them are coming here to, to get their ideas and to, to work out what they, what they want for their next camping holiday, where they should be going. There are destinations on, uh, that, that you can look at, look into here. There are, uh, um, new models of caravans that are being launched, um, and all of the tents and all of the equipment. And lots of people have come here for, for lots of ideas. That's absolutely fantastic. It sounds as though it's a really thoroughly entertaining show, uh, and I'd recommend anybody to get down there, especially especially newcomers to the hobby, because maybe they they haven't quite taken the plunge yet. That's right, and now is the time, Dennis. This is the time, and that's why I'm very proud to be uh, the first female president of the Camping and Caravanning Club. If I could just inspire just a few more people to dip their toe in the water, then my job will be done. Ah, oh, that sounds fantastic. Now. Talking of the great outdoors, and uh, especially where we are in Grantham, uh, Lincolnshire, you originate from not too far away, don't you? That's right. I'm a Rutland girl myself. I grew up in Rutland, in a little village in Rutland, and uh, I was uh, there only this weekend having a little jog around Rutland Reservoir. Oh, that sounds good. And uh, always nice to come back to, because I presume that a lot of your work, because of, because of um, you know, your uh, commitment, uh, as well as going to the country... You have to do a lot of editing, producing, things like that in the city, do you? Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a lot of time on the road and, uh, as you said, travelling around the, the length and breadth of the country and also time back in back in London, which is where we do most of the editing and producing and, and putting the programmes together. Brilliant. So, yes, life is always on the move. Julia, we have to go because it's news time. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Lovely to talk to you, Dennis. And if well. ever you get the chance to come to Grantham, pop in and see us at Gravity FM. I will indeed. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Local radio for local people. It's all here for you. Traffic and travel. What's on guide. Great songs and great memories on Gravity FM. Your community, your radio, 97.2. Gravity. Gravity.